Today, we are bringing you a special mock interview to help you prepare for your citizenship interview. Your naturalization interview will probably be different, but this will give you a general idea of the interview format and what you should expect. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your USCIS appointment letter and your green card, please? Thank you. Here they are. Thank you. Here is your appointment letter and your green card. And here is your waiting number. Thank you. Please have a seat. We will call your name when your appointment is ready. Thank you again. You're welcome. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning, officer. I'm good. And you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. I'm Immigration Officer Keith, and I'll be conducting your interview today. Please come in and remain standing. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, could you please raise your right hand to do the oath, please? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please, have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I please have your appointment notice, your green card, and state-issued ID, please? Sure, here they are. All right. Do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, I do not have any questions. Great. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I would vote in all federal elections and travel outside of the United States without restrictions. That is great. And when did you become a lawful permanent resident? Since February 9th, 2019. How did you get your green card? Through the diversity visa lottery. Great. Let's do the civics test. Have you studied for this test? Yes, I have studied for it. Great. I'll ask up to 10 questions, and you pass if you can give six correct answers. First question. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. That is correct. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Great. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Well, how many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Correct. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. And what are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Join a political party. I think you are well in the history and government test. And you got more than six questions correct, so you pass the civics test portion. Now we're going to do the English reading and writing tests. 
I'm going to show you a sentence on the tablet, and I want you to read it back to me. How many senators does the Congress have? Great. Now, listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say and write it down on the digital tablet in front of you, using the stylus pen. Congress consists of 100 senators. Congress consists of 100 senators. Excellent. You passed the English reading and writing test too. All right. Now let's review your application form, just to make sure all the information you filled in is correct. What is your current legal name? Albert Klein. Have you used any other names since birth? No, I have not. Would you like to legally change your name? No, I do not want to change my name. What is your date of birth? June 13th, 1995. What is your country of birth? Germany. Are one or both of your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not U.S. citizens. What is your current mailing address? 1024 West Hubbard Street, Apartment 65, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. How long have you been living there? Since 2022. What's your previous address? 10 North Wood Street, Apartment 2, Chicago, Illinois, 60622. Great. What is your current marital status? Divorced. And when did you get a divorce? October 10th, 2021. What's the full name of your previous spouse? Maria Martinez. Do you have your divorce decree with you? Sure, I do. Can I see it? Here you go. Where does your ex-wife live now? She moved to another state. Do you know where? Yes, to Florida. Do you have any children? No, I don't have any children now. Well, what do you do for a living? I'm the head chef at Prime and Provisions. Really? I ate at this restaurant last weekend and the food was delicious. I'm glad that you liked it. How long have you been working there? Since 2021. Great. Have you taken a trip outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, for three trips. Where and when was the last trip? I was in July 2023 to Germany to celebrate my brother's wedding, and I came back in August 2023. Have any of your trips outside the United States been longer than six months? No, never. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I have not, because I'm not a U.S. citizen yet. 
Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No, never. Great. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or confined to a mental institution? No, never. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, nope, I always file my tax on time. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident? No, I have not. Were you a member of the Communist Party before? No, never. Have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? No, never. Were you ever involved in genocide? No, never. Have you ever stopped someone from practicing their religion? No, never. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in a prison or jail? No, never. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No, never. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you are not arrested? No, I have not. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, never. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, I have not. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, never. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to take it. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Excellent. Congratulations. You passed your naturalization interview. Now please, take a look at the application on the tablet and make sure everything is correct. Everything looks good. If everything is accurate, please print, sign, and date at the bottom of the page. Yes. Great. Now, I will submit your application for approval. Thank you. And here is a copy of your test result, your green card, and your ID. Thank you. Of course. Everything is right. I just need my supervisor to do a quality check and final approval. Once the application is approved, we will probably send you a notice in about a week. Thank you again. 
You are welcome. Congratulations again. I will walk you back to the waiting area then. Thank you.